Well, we're down here at the Lake Argyle Cruises. So down here, we're going to pick up a barbecue boat and head out for this is about three, four hours, I think it is. So I believe it's about 250 bucks for about four hours. So you get a barbecue, a toilet, and gas for the barbecue, and then the rest of it's sort of BYO. So you can bring your own esky, drinks, and what's whatever you want sort of thing. But this is where you, you come. This is just past like well, 100 meters, 50 meters past the actual caravan park at Lake Argyle. And you'll see the big sign up here. So yeah, pretty excited. We've been wanting to do this for some time now. We've attached ourselves to the waterfall, if you can see the rope here. <laughs> Climbing up here. And there's more falls over the top. So you can walk here. You can but walk. You can get it by It takes by. a long time, doesn't it? I think it takes a long it's walk. A like yeah. It's a mission. So yeah, you probably wouldn't want to walk here, but if you've got a boat, come in and see it. So much easier. It's not that far too on the boat. You, where you take off... I'll put a, a little map in. Yeah, there's like a big point and it's just around the other side. Yep. And the, really cool. the barbecue boat, if you want to do it on the barbecue boat, it's literally like 10 minutes. You can get kayaks, stand up paddle boards, boards barbecue boat, a little small tinny, and they would all come here no problem. Yeah. It's really not that bad to get up either, eh? As you can see, we're back to our normal footwear. Oh yeah, we have normal footwear, thongs, oh, yeah. or lack thereof. 
Look at this. It's like a full swim area and everything. That's so cool. There's so many people here and no boats. <laughs> Where are the boats? No. They've missioned it. How cool is this? <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so glad we finally got it. Better say something that will change my mind. Gotta give me something, cause I'm not blind. So we've had our boat day, it's been amazing, and we're on the road, we're on our way back to uh, Kimberley Land Caravan Park in Kununurra, this is our last visit to Lake Argyle until whoever knows when, and can you see what's behind me, not the car, the sun But how good setting. does that car look? <laughs> There's this awesome sunset, the colours are popping, <gasps> absolutely popping, and then Do you want to see around the other side? Flip around this way because tonight is called a super moon so it's 13 percent bigger than what it normally is to me that's like 50 percent bigger it is massive i don't I, know whether this is going to give you justice or not but that is the most amazing moon ever i really hope you can see that but like i don't even know what to say it's, it's amazing that's like it's just so pretty like this time of day is just still great amount of light You've got oh. that nice... <laughs> Look at the zoom. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just zoom out. Did you see my pimples? Oh, that's, that's about better. to go up into the sky. You can see it just Going cracking into the through clouds. the clouds. We actually looked into this ages ago, and these dates right now are the dates that we're about to move. We're only a couple of days away from leaving, and mm. I figured it out that there was a super moon just before we left. I was like, oh, it would have been so good if it was when we left, because when you leave... Well, where we're going next, it's quite dark, so it would have been easy to see. But yeah. we've seen it. Like, we oh. just had the most best day out on a pontoon boat up at Lake Argyle. Perfect weather. And now to see that. And then we're just driving home. We've got this huge super moon there. With, with a killer sunset, sunset behind. Sunset behind. Like, that's day May right there. It's really cool. You're probably wondering why we didn't get the camera out and why we didn't get photos. But it turns out that Sony batteries hate hot cars and um two one would only charge to two percent and the other two said battery exhausted so i need more batteries <laughs> we need to get out of this remote town <laughs> morning it is 5 40 in the morning I've just pulled up at the bottom of Callie's Knob. It's actually surprising. Two cars have just left now. There's another two cars still here. Surprising how many cars are actually, or people that are actually out this early in the morning. I guess this is what um, normal fit people do, not people like us. <laughs> but I'm here, I'm ready. The sun's not quite up yet, so hopefully by the time I get up there and these clouds sort of bugger off, we might get a good sun sunrise. But yeah, let's get this done, eh? Hopefully I can do it in a good time and I can beat Sean and I don't have to do anything silly. <laughs> it's really funny because normally this time of morning I need to uh, have my bowel movement 
and I'm actually feeling like I need to do it right now. I don't think that's just because it's nerves, but it's just that time of morning. <laughs> My body's like ready to process. So I better get moving. Otherwise I'm going to be in a bit of trouble, I think. <laughs> It's the best part. Well, the only had the best way we thought of recording this time is by starting our stopwatch on our phone, recording it, and then stopping it at the top and recording it, and try and get the best sort of number, I guess, and uh, the more the most accurate. Because it was a thousand other different ways and I thought well, that's got to be the best way so it's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to use this as a starting pole. So this is going to be the pole I'm going to tell Sian that she needs to do and uh, let's do it. Hi guys. Righto. Three, two, one. Let's do it. fit I am. That was ridiculous. It wasn't even that far up. I think we worked it out to be about 600 meters. Most of your voice sounds really dismal. But it's just straight up like talk about really just making it as hard as possible. It's not just a footpath, it's like Honestly, I wish that cloud wasn't there because that would have been an epic sunrise. Because here in front of me is a place called Mirama. It's a little national park you can drive into and do other walks on. But um, that's nowhere near as big as this. We actually did that just the other week, so it's really nice in there. But with that sort of landscape, the mountains in the back, and then the sun, yeah. That walk's definitely worth it. So there you go babe, right to the end until you get to the big white shed. Touch that. Switch that phone off. So the official count was 9 minutes 35 seconds point four zero. I reckon that wouldn't be too hard to beat. <laughs> that was pretty intense. Sweet ass time I'm getting up here. Certainly very unfit. I might chill out, chill out up here for a bit. Really soak up this view because you don't get to come up here very often. That's very cool. You can actually see the car from up here, out there somewhere. Because the good thing about if you don't want to do a walk this big. Just where the car is down the back there, there's like another little sort of ridge or hill. And you can come up to there and have a bit of a look out. It's it's still pretty cool up there, even though you're not this high. But then obviously coming up here is going to be next level. Righto, Kelly's knob ticked. Holy hell. I was actually daunting the hell out of that this morning. It's only because it's a challenge. If it was just a walk, it would be totally different. But as soon as you challenge anything... It always puts that little added pressure on you, so... And I'm very, very curious to see uh, what you guys have said 
for this challenge and what the uh, loser is going to have to do. I'm a bit scared about that, but uh, I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope to God that's not me, um, but either way, it's going to be a lot of fun doing it and seeing what happens. But yeah, if you guys are ever in Kananara or making your way up to here and you're looking for a bit of a challenge, I'm going to post the, um, I'll put in the comments below the actual time that I've done and then we'll put Sean's in there as well. And it'd be cool to see you guys getting involved and coming up here for yourself and seeing how quick you can do it. That can be really cool. And if you do it, tag us in it because I'd love to see it and we can share it as well. All right, guys. See you later, Kelly's knob. how I was saying that my normal bowel movement was normally when I get up just before I started she's well and truly kicked in now I'm scared that I won't make it back to the car <laughs> holy hell she is touching cloth Whew. oh I think it's this has become my new challenge I think try and make it back to the car and to and amenities before I make a mess of myself. <laughs> Good luck, Sean. I hope very nicely that you do slower than I do. <laughs> Love you. Bye.